In this video, I'm going to do some experiments for removing labels from bottles. There are lots of ways to remove labels. I'm just going to try one way, but for variations of it. There are three types of labels that I'm going to try to remove. Paper labels, plastic labels, and painted on labels. For this experiment, I'm going to take one of the bottles and with the paper label first, fold up a paper towel to wrap around the bottle label, then put it into a sealable plastic bag. On this first test, I'm going to add water with dish soap, more than enough to soak the paper towel. The goal is to keep the liquid in contact with the label. I will do the same to a bottle with a plastic label and a painted on label. Once the bottles are bagged up, I left them in a warm place for about an hour. I try removing the paper label first. It looks like the water soaked into it good. The label peeled off easy and it looks like it separated from the adhesive good. I try wiping the glue from the bottle with a soaked paper towel and it comes off pretty easy. Next I try removing the plastic label. It's a bit tough to get started but comes off in one piece. It didn't feel like soaking it made any difference. There isn't much glue left behind, but it isn't too hard to clean off with a soapy water. Now I try the bottle with the painted on label. Nothing to peel off this time, so I try wiping it with the soapy water. No surprise considering it's just soapy water, but none of the paint comes off. I grab a razor blade and scrape at the paint, but still none of it comes off. The next test I use fingernail polish remover, 100% acetone, instead of soapy water. Again, I left them in a warm place for about an hour. The paper label comes off easy. Maybe even easier than it did with the soapy water. The remaining glue comes off about the same easy. I noticed that the paint on my table is a little bit smudged by the acetone too. Next I do the plastic label. Still a bit tough to get started, but also takes most of the glue off with it. But notice how the paint is separating from the label. Gets a bit messy, but the glue cleans off well. Now I try the painted on label. I expected this to work well, but even with tough scrubbing, none of the paint comes off. Even scraping with a razor blade does not remove any of the paint. The next test is with apple cider vinegar, again left in a warm place for about an hour. The paper label soaked up the vinegar good, but it didn't separate from the glue very well. I have to work harder to get it off the bottle. I can wipe off all of the remaining glue, but I have to work at that more too. With a plastic label, I have to work at it a bit more to get the label off. Like with the other test, there isn't much glue left behind on this one, but it also does not come off as easy. Now with the painted on label, I do get a bit of unexpected results. A little rubbing and scrubbing with just the paper towel does remove some of the paint, and somewhat easily. But more rubbing does not remove any more. Scraping with a razor blade did not remove any more either. The fourth and final thing that I tried soaking the label in was distilled white vinegar. This time, because of the results of the apple cider vinegar, I let it soak for about an hour and a half. The paper label peeled off mostly, but not completely. The remaining glue wiped off fairly easy too.
The plastic label peeled off about the same as it did on the other tests. Wiping the glow off was about the same too. With the painted on label again, I got some unexpected results. Rubbing and scrubbing with a paper towel did not have any effect this time, but scraping with a razor blade did. I couldn't get all of the paint off, but a good amount of it scraped off easily. I decided to expand on the two vinegar tests. I let the painted on label soak with distilled white vinegar for a couple of hours. Again, rubbing and scrubbing didn't do anything, but scraping with a razor blade worked great. Letting it soak for that long allowed me to scrape off most of the paint, but again, not all of it. After letting the painted on label soak with the apple cider vinegar for a couple of hours, I tried scrubbing with a paper towel. Most of the paint came off pretty easy, just with the scrubbing. Scraping afterwards with razor blade though, didn't have much of a difference. I also tried scrubbing the paint on the same bottle that wasn't wrapped in the soaked paper towel, and none of it came off. I decided to do one final test. This time, with apple cider vinegar, I let it soak overnight. With a little bit of rubbing, the paint starts to come off. Without much effort, most of the paint come off, and with some harder scrubbing, I was able to get the rest of the paint off. I tried scrubbing the unwrapped part of the bottle again, and it did not come off. If you are interested in using one of these ways to remove a label from a bottle, here is what I noticed. Overall, soaking longer should improve your results. With paper labels, acetone works the best, but has the potential for damaging the paint or finish of your table or work surface, if you're not careful. Cleaning the remaining glue off the bottle works well with using either acetone or soapy water, with acetone being better and soapy water being safer. With plastic labels, none of these soak through the label, so try warming the bottle to soften the glue on the label, then clean the remaining glue off with either soapy water or acetone. With painted on labels, try vinegar. Any vinegar should work, just remember that it may need to soak for several hours. If the paint doesn't wipe off, have something handy to scrape the paint. If you use a different method for removing labels from bottles, please leave a comment and tell us about it.